Hi guys, welcome back to my small engine repair channel. Behind me I've got a Toro snowblower. It's got an overhead valve engine. Now it's got that annoying surging where the engine revs up and down consistently. I find it extremely annoying and I'm sure you do. Today I'm going to show you a quick trick to get that surging to stop and it basically won't cost you anything. Now this is a Toro Power Max 928. It's got a Chinese engine. Overall it's a pretty good engine on this machine. It's quite smooth when it runs properly. And the same procedure will apply to most snowblowers made by MTD. It could be Cub Cadet, Yard Works, Yard Machines. So I'm airing out the shop. I will start the machine so you can hear that surging. And then I'll start it up again when I'm all done fixing it. So even though this engine surges, it does start and it runs pretty good, except for that surging. And if you have a surging engine, sometimes if you leave the choke on part ways, it will stop the surging, but your engine will burn more fuel. So you could hear the surging, you could even see the light go up and down a bit. And that's because the engine was actually revving up and down because of the surging. Now you don't have to take off the carburetor. I want to show you a quick way. I will remove the cover here just to show you, just in case that you're not able to reach the part that I will show you. So what I'll do here is remove the eight millimeter bolts. There's four. Now this may vary from engine to engine. Now there's two 10 millimeter nuts here. Now you don't have to remove all these parts to access the small part that I'll show you. I'm just taking it off today so that I can show you guys better in the video. And now you can see the carb quite easily. I'll zoom in on that part. Now you need to remove this here, this part here, and then pop out another part underneath, which sometimes you can do, as I mentioned, without removing the covers. This way here, if you cannot access it, just remove the covers, remove this part. And when you remove this plastic screw here, try to count out how many turns it was screwed in so that you put it in exactly the same after. Now this small plastic part here, you can just pop it off. Now this bottom part here is in a little more tighter, so just pull it out like that. Now this is the small part that I removed. And some of you guys may remember me doing this on a lawnmower last summer to stop the surging. It's the exact same principle on the lawnmower as well. So I'm going to get right into what you should be doing here. What you want to do is get a micro drill bit between 13 thousandths of an inch to 15 thousandths of an inch. And as you can see, they're very tiny drill bits. Now you can easily buy these on Amazon. It's a bit holder. Then what you do is you turn it manually. Or you can buy a chuck like this and put it in your drill and just drill it out. Now I'm using good bits today. This is a blue point micro drill bit. It's a bit stronger than the cheaper ones on Amazon. So I'm just going to stick it in my cordless drill here. Now be careful using these small drill bits because they do break easily. You don't want it to break inside the jet. If you're worried about that, you can use the manual one here, but they can still break using the manual one. Now hold it nice and straight in there and just drill right through. What you want to see is the drill bit come through this big hole here. And you can see that drill bit. So basically what we've done here is enlarge this jet. I believe it's an air jet. Now all you have to do at this point is stick it back in your carburetor and your engine will not surge anymore. Now, if you don't have the drill bits I showed you, you can order them on Amazon. They come in quite quickly from there. If you're in a pinch, you can try using a paper clip or some other device, maybe a pick, but the drill bits work the best by far. So now all you have to do is put it back in the carb and line it up exactly like this because you need to push it down. You're going to feel that it will go in there a bit tight. And then you wanna put this plastic piece on it just sits on there 
And now you want to grab the screw here and you want to put it back. And I've just screwed it into about where it was before. A good way to make sure you put it in the exact same position it was before is count out the turns when you remove it and then count the turns when you put it back in. Or sometimes you can just look at the screw on the other side and just put it in so it sticks out the same length. And basically this is your idle screw for your snowblower so when you turn your throttle down this is the screw that you would turn in if you want it to idle faster or turn it out if you want the engine to idle slower. This screw here does not affect the air fuel mixture of your carburetor because it is a non-adjustable carb. So now at this point just put the covers back on. Now on this machine there were four bolts, two on the side here and two bolts back here. And there's two 10 millimeter nuts that hold the carburetor here. One here, one there. And now tighten this up by hand, do not use an impact. And now you want to tighten up the two nuts evenly here. And again, these are 10 millimeters. And then on this one, there are four bolts, they're eight millimeters. Now, if you did do this job on a power more engine, the bolts are similar, they're all on the side and at the back over here, so it's very, very similar. And the small jet in this carburetor will be the same as the one that I just enlarged on the Toro. Okay, so I've got the shop aired out. I'm gonna start it up and you will see that there will be no surging and you will not see the light pulsate. So as you just saw guys, most of the time, that little trick will stop the surging on most outdoor power equipment engines. So I did it on a snowblower today, but if you have a similar carb on the lawnmower, rototiller, any other equipment, if you can pop out that little jet and you can enlarge it with a small drill bit that's between 13 thousandths to 15 thousandths of an inch, you're more than likely going to eliminate that surging. Now, if you still have surging after you do what I showed you in the video, what you wanna do is meticulously clean your carburetor, put it back together, make sure the jets in your carburetor are clean as well. And if it still does it after you've cleaned the carb, enlarged the jet, what I do recommend is to just replace the carburetor with preferably an OEM carb. So what I've done is put the link in the description to the video I made last summer of me doing this on a lawnmower. Check it out because you may have similar issues with your lawnmowers and different equipment. And I've also put in the description a link to where you can buy the micro drill bit set to do this repair yourself. So thanks again for watching guys. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel and that you're following me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. All the links are below the video and you guys have a great day. Thanks again.